In this video, I'm going to show you why 146 is the glitchiest defense in Madden 23, why it creates the best pressure in Madden 23, and uh, kind of a secret little thing that not a lot of people know about with 146 and what makes it so powerful. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's free to subscribe. If you want to get my full Dime 146 defensive ebook, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to my Patreon page. Uh, my Patreon page will get you access to all of my Madden uh, 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to check out that, it's only ten dollars to sign up, and like I said, it gets you access to all of them. We currently have nine offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates uh, to those ebooks. You guys will get access to as well. So Dime 146, um, I personally believe, is the best blitzing formation in the game, or at least one of them. And it's primarily because of the alignment that you get in 146 that you actually don't get in a lot of the sub packages. So you'll see here that if I come out in this Dime 236 will, let's say I come out in DB Fire 2, this looks very similar to Dollar. And you're going to see that we're going to be able to get decent pressure, um, but they kind of get held up and the other big piece of this is my linebackers are they're backed off right so i can only send you know i could send six here um if i wanted to but by and large you see here blocked running back can kind of handle the six man pressure obviously we're getting good sheds um but the blocked running back is kind of handling the base pressure concept now when we go over to 146 you're going to see a kind of a distinct difference that i think is really important so when we go over to 146 here, if I come out in the play DB Sting to Buzz, which is their version of DB Fire 2, then what I can do with this is I can come out in this play and notice that now my linebackers, they are lined up in the middle or in the gap. What this allows me to do defensively is let's say I wanted to play a zone look, then I can just do something like this. And now we're basically in DB Fire 2, but what you'll notice is a lot of times this pressure will come faster and we'll get really good sheds from our outside pass rushers because they are standing up. One of the things that's really interesting is I have found, um, just in this game in general, that you're going to get a little bit better sheds out of 146 than you would out of like dollar or something like that, okay? So, you know, you can see here, I could do stuff like this. And then if they block a running back, a lot of times this will still come around the edge. There it got picked up. And we do have some solutions for that in our ebook. But you see that this core base system gives us a lot of flexibility. Now, when we audible out of this play, you'll notice something really important. So let's say I audible to cover two sync. You'll notice that they stay where they're at. So you see how they stay here. And then I can actually show blitz and come down here with this guy and create a really, really aggressive look there in which I could send seven right out of here, just like this. So let's say they're max protecting um, and I really want to send some heat, right? Uh, if they're max protecting, you can see we can do something like this and we're able to blitz a max protect. So Dime 146 gives you the ability to have blitzing threats all over your field. What's also really interesting is like, let's say I run the DB Sting, the man play right here. This actually is the best, I think the best man blitz because you see the alignment. These linebackers are basically wild card players. If I man this guy up on the running back and man this guy up on the tight end, I have everybody manned up. I'm in my base five man pressure and I have good run defense because I have a lot of people in the box. And as you can see, we're playing cover one rat, if you will, uh, style of, or, uh, of man pressure. So there's so much that you can do within this formation that I think that people kind of sleep on, um, especially with the show blitz feature, the way that it brings that right side safety down. Now I can come down here and then we could play cover two to one side of the field, right? And then we could play uh, our, our regular coverage uh, to this side. So we could play, you know, Meg on the back side, man on the left, and then we could play zone on the right. And this is very confusing um, for people when you start to play them in a game. So I really like this defense for that reason. And then, like I said, it also has really, really, really good sheds. So I'll show you something about the sheds real quick. So you'll see that if we wanted to get a little better sheds, we can. Um, whoops, let me reset my linebacker so that they're stay down. Uh, but you see how this is now we're in a cover three zone look, right? So from here, um, and most people run, most people uh, run three wide receiver sets, right? Um, they, they, most people are really going to run trips to the right or trips to the left oftentimes. So... If you need to go with a base three-man rush, watch how fast we're getting these instant wins on the outside. Now, part of that is because we have the ability there, but the ability works best out of 146 because of the angles that they're going to blitz in. 
Another little hidden feature about 146 is it's actually decent if you bring this guy off the edge and blitz him. So this is something we used to do years ago um, and really hasn't been super popular in Madden for a while. Um, you know, but we could do something like this and you can see sometimes these contains will get really glitchy and you can get like a four man off of that side. Now right there, I wasn't able to get it, um, but you just kind of see the basic pieces, the basic concepts of this formation and what makes it so good. So uh, last thing that I want to show you is obviously, like I said, if they're going to block their running back, because we're going to bring this guy down into the box here, I find that this just gives us such an advantage because now, like if they block their running back, we still have good leverage to be able to actually cover everybody. And at the same time, we still have great leverage to be able to blitz players as well. All right, so last thing I want to show you is this formation also comes complete with a really good match coverage. So if I turn my defense set to match, you're going to see here that this cover six um, is a great play. So what I would want to do is put this in my audibles, and then I can come out in DB Sting, and then I can just audible to cover six. And you see it keeps the same alignment. And then let's say I want to play this basically a quarters call uh, where we do something like this. Uh, and then we have several people now in the middle of the field. Remember, I said Dime 146 gets the best sheds in the game. Well, it does, and it's going to get them again in this right here. So we might have to, you know, do some different levels of adjustments here. Maybe we want to man up the tight end. Um, this cover six isn't the perfect coverage by any means. We go over in the Patreon kind of how to utilize it so that it actually works uh, as best as it possibly can. But you see here, now we're getting those good sheds. And then as you can see, you know, we're able to play some, some, match, some match coverage as well. So this defense is way more complete than people realize. And it also is way more versatile than people realize. Uh, but with that being said, I've shared enough about 146, why I like it. If you want to grab our 146 defensive ebook, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up, and it gets you access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks, as well as if any new ebooks come out while you are a member. So make sure you sign up today. It's only $10 to sign up. The link is down in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon.